Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video I want to introduce you to a plugin that I think if you're using PHP Storm is absolutely essential regardless of the type of PHP you write, whether that's vanilla PHP, or PHP with a framework, WordPress or whatever. It's PHP Inspections EA. So I'm going to go ahead and add the plugin to PHP Storm. You've got to go to Browse Repositories, just search for PHP Inspections and install it and then restart. Now once PHP Storm has restarted and re-indexed your project, you'll find that you've got plenty of these new and potentially somewhat unexpected issues inside your code. And this code that I'm looking at now is generated by Symfony if you use the Doctrine Generate CRUD. And this isn't a snipe in any way at that code. It's just a really interesting example of things that are hidden right there in plain sight. And if you're anything like me, the code that you write will also contain these things. And this will actually just make your code better or make you a better developer, in my opinion. It certainly made me a better developer. So if we go over this Get Doctrine and we hit Alt and Return on the Mac, then you can see that it's telling us that we're going to potentially have an unexpected exception being thrown in this code. It's an undocumented exception. So if we hit Return, that's just going to add that into our doc block and clean that up for us. And again, we can keep going through and we can see all of these hidden places where we would have had undocumented exceptions being thrown. Now also nicely, it'll pick up here that we could replace this with class shorthand and so on as we go through our code. Again, you can see another one here. Now if we go back up and we add in some code of our own. Now this is a little bit nonsensical at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll just pass these through so that they're actually in use. And right now, if we go across to the array and we alt return on there, you can see that PHP Storm is going to give us the option to convert the array to shorthand syntax. But that's about it. Now that's actually part of PHP Storm. That's nothing to do with the inspections. But if I was to then go and update this to be using PHP 7 or greater, so 7.1, for example, just OK that. Then you can see now the inspections do give us, if we were to alt and return on there, that we can use the destructuring syntax instead. So again, it's just helping you become more concise using more modern practices. Let's say we jump across to our blog post type. Again, you can see here. So if we go across to set defaults, alt and return on there, then again, we've got one of these hidden exceptions. So now that's documented. We can do the short syntax for our array. And then again, the shorthand class syntax. Now that's just a typo at the bottom there, so ignore that one. Let's say if we was to jump into an entity and we might say that this class implements JSON serializable, and then we are to go down and do a command and N to implement that method, then you can see this is added in, but we don't get the access modifier. In other words, it's not declared as public. So let's alt and return and declare that as public. And there's absolutely loads of these different inspections available, being possible to cover them all. But if you did want to see how many are included, we go to our preferences under editor and inspections, expand PHP and look inside PHP inspections, EA extended. You can see just how many there are in here. Anyway, I would strongly advise that you add it if you're using PHP Storm and see what kind of things it finds in your code. 